Kuya. Morning, Saturday morning. <clears throat> Don't know what day is it? What is it, about 24th? Something like that. Whatever, anyway. Um, yeah, a bit of a plain morning. I was uh, hoping to get some uh, roundup in done. I've got all our foliar feeds put on uh, our problem uh, uh, problem areas of barley. Well, all our winter barley, to be fair. I won't say problem areas, but this is the only field I'm really worried about. It's about dead on these sandy banks. And someone's commented about lime, but no, we've tested for lime. pH is good. I don't know. I think we've gone other way. I think we've put that many nutrients on. We've locked up. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to think about putting a cover crop in this uh, this field at back end. Maybe a lot of brassicas in it because it's sandy soil. So we aren't going to create a slug issue and try and draw everything up. Um, I did a soil test the other day and our indexes are through roof. So I think we've caused lock up with uh, too much muck and too much um, uh, slurry. So that's some deer over there, look. Near that muck hill. Bloody deer on this farm, I don't know. We've got, uh, well, I won't say dozens, but I bet we've got a dozen. So, hey up. I can't shit that dog. Yeah, had a good week really. We've uh, done quite a bit of rolling beginning of the week before it came uh, damp. We did quite a bit of rolling on on uh, winter corn. It did, well, fellow get a hundred acre done. When uh, not early enough, that frost had buggered off. So I went to we me and I were all went to York Machinery Sale. Get, gathered a lot of stuff up, all sorts of bloody stuff. Not real fancy, but uh, yeah, quite a few items. Bought this actually, it's a Grimmy Cutlass um, 1500 topper, but the cross conveyor's buggered, and uh, I'm just going to take PTO shaft off it. I want them wheels for a job. And then, well, we're not going to scrap the rest, but we're going to advertise it for spares. So anybody want a gear, anybody want the gearboxes? Give us a shout. As I say, I'm taking that wide angle P PTO for our slurry tanker. The rest of it can go um, for brecking and then drop it in scrap bin. Struggle to get bloody grease in this thing, aren't oh, Everyone says warm it up. So we warmed it up and it went slightly runnier, but not pourable runny. So I ended up poking it through. Oh, with my fingers through a funnel. It was all right going on. Anyway, I've done one set. I've got other one to do. But yeah, very pleased with this old girl. Looking forward to getting it into action. A few people have seen we uh, must have seen on videos because Phil was picking some stuff up the other day. And someone came up to him. We, we did buy a little, a little uh, beat drill in, in to sale. Someone come up. Are you, ah, is he drilling his bloody beat with that? Anyway, no. We've got a Becker six row beat drill for sale. Very very nice thing. Gives a shout. Um, yeah, we bought that and we've looked around it and there is a few jobs to do at it but it came straight from work it drilled sugar beet two years ago but there's a few little jobs to do stuff what's got bent in transit that, that there should be like that so just that now in the summer all belts are tight everything all boxes turn but there's a scraper like a a divider scraper thing, what uh, just cleans the area where the uh, coulters run, missing there. Whether it'll make any difference in our land, I don't know, but I'll see if I can find one. Come on, dog. Come on. Come on. But he's wick. It's going to be a right ratter. It hunts already. It's only 11 week odd. She don't know what to make of it. She's had odd of it once. And uh, now it knows that don't mess with Jet. Go on, Jet. Go on, dog. Foster digger. 500 quid as it is. Been stood around a long while, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of digger for 500 quid if anybody wants one. Obviously, not presented very well, stood there like that, but I mean, uh, we'll, we, what we'll do is. It propped up, well, uh, propped up there just to to get out way and I started washing it and it wants finishing washing off and 
and we'll position it nice, stood up as it should be, and uh, and yeah, 500 quid, it's for now, isn't it? There's a little bit of a, a repair on that boom. Someone's repaired that boom. Not badly, done it properly. I mean, there's a bit of smeg on rams, but a bit of corrosion, but it cleans up. There's no to worry about whatsoever. But I mean, if anybody's willing to put a piper to on it and get it going, I would get rid of pump and pipe it straight to the tractor. Coon, uh, I might as well give you a yard to it while we're on. Might sell a bit of stuff. Coon, Alto. Runs perfect. In fact, it runs brilliant. Chains in bed need cro uh, a little bit crossed over. They need straightening up. Uh, runs like a sewing machine, but we've got a few electric issues. The box, the solenoids are a little bit dicky. We just need to go through them or sell it as it is. I mean, if we go through it, get everything going, it's two grander. As it is, oh god, can it go on? Now you're free. As it is, it can go at 1200 quid. But that's before next weekend, because we might, one of us, oh, she's crossed over in bottom, we'll just straighten that out. But it runs like a clock, it really does. Yeah, 1200 quid. It's for absolutely nothing. But when we bought it, it was just covered in green, it was horrible. And, uh, you know, you would have thought, because it's bloody hell, this this will never run again. Get it washed off and uh, it sort of doubled its value instantly. So, yeah, 1200 quid. If anybody wants that, as it is, all complete, complete weight electric box. It's a little bit hit and miss what works and what don't. Oh, I've got this one. This is a bit, a bit of a different kettle of fish. This is an absolute peach. It's a genteel. Same again, perfect working order. She's a beauty, is this one. Everything works perfect. 2008. Our we're all bought it, actually. Yeah, don't up laps. Uh, we take a... We take a... Well, he does it on his phone. I have a little iPad thing. We go to the sale because it's not a live auction anymore. It's online. And he got excited with himself. We paid uh, strongish money, so there's not a massive amount in it, but it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. What, what do we want for it? Three grand. I'll tell you what, three grand. It's made as a wage and got someone a very, very cheap chopper. Because she's a beauty, she really is. I think it's the tidiest one we've ever had. And we've had, we must have had do a dozen last year through the books, so yeah. Got rid of our old um, Lely drill, just sick of moving it, to be honest. We're never gonna use it. Jakey used it last year for drilling his grass, got rid of that. Um, it made what I paid for it, and I've drilled a few hundred acre with it, so we've just got one now, one what we're keeping. Lely power, that's ours. Um, don't look at uh, PTO Chef, we have got a guarded one, but I don't know why that's on, to be honest, unless he's Blitz guard. But yeah, it's just a lily four meter with a real big circumference uh, pack of roller on. Beautiful, yeah, good machine on uh, on sandy soils. Ricky topper for sale. Rum stud uh, bed tiller with hood on. Oh, that's an interrail one. That's an interrail one. But we have got one, a modern, a smarter thing than that. What's uh, <clears throat> what's just got? A, uh, it's got all the. Um, Instead of into row, which means in between rows, basically, it's got all the um, the teeth on, so it's more of a, a bed buster than a than a than an into row one. Christ, I might, Richard, put this all together, spit your words out. We've got this other uh, other one here. Uh, this is Oliver's. This is Oliver's project. He's doing it up. They come from your auctions. Yeah, it's a right thing to be honest. The electrics are all to cock on it. So he's doing that up. Well, someone's got box at the moment, sort of trying to figure out what does what. 
But I think he'll carry three round bales in that. Two in, one on door, and he'll be able to, winter time, he'll be able to go around all lot. Maybe daily, just have it the up, the up top of my car with us, I want to hold the tractors and just go around and. Uh, oh shit, my dog! Lost dog, didn't I? Bad dog, bad dog sitter. Oh. Yeah, this mix is for sale. I can't understand why it hasn't gone because it's perfect working order. We've used it all season. We were going to replace it with a better one, what we bought, but I've ended up flogging that. So yeah, eight cube mixer. As I say, we've used it all season. And uh, there's no blades in it, but everything works perfect. No way on it. I want 1100 quid, but it can't go yet. It can go in like six weeks time. When we get through fat cattle and stuff goes out to grass. I see there is some stuff turned out already. Bloody hell, it's early. Early for uh, driest February in record, isn't it? Or heading that way anyway, I haven't finished yet. But, um, I think it's slightly too early. I think we, if, if we drilled any spring barley at the moment, we'd be plagued out with crows. But a lot of people have on, been on lately, but we've got quite a bit to do to our drill. We've decided to recoulter it. All these coulter uh, legs are uh, to replace. £80 a piece plus delivery though, Christ. I was shocked. I mean, it's a piece of box section in it with a foot on. Um, we've gone for the um, ad facing points on it, you know, to make them last. <coughs> they reckon the other ones don't last very well. So, and it's a drill like. It's good for. It's good. It's a good drill like. So, we'll probably be keeping it for uh, a few years. Very maintenance hungry though. You're forever bloody changing bearings and tightening bearings up. In fact, after a good day, you come back and you have to have, an, have a half an hour tightening bearings up. <coughs> Good night. Morning, fellas. And silly, Simi Bullocks are on, um, oh, there's a few limbies among, are on uh, Fodderby and Silage doing really well. Just takes some finding us. Fodderby, doesn't it? You know, it seems to be becoming very popular, but there was a shortage of grass last year, so I mean. Uh, People are using it as an alternative, but yeah, very strong money, them cattle, but bad, they are some uh, beautiful stuff. Morning, Warney. <clears throat> Warney's getting a couple of girlfriends today. Well, if we me and Phil have time, I'll eat coming. <clears throat> but we're going to um, hopefully get to uh, the one what lost its, well, the two what lost its calf, the one what had a big calf and the other one what the calf died. We're going to put them in him, so it'd be due dates mid-December, mid I look at. So yeah, there ain't many of them girls left. About seven or eight of them uh, fat cattle. I think five are going on uh, in a fortnight and that'll thin them out. There's these two barren, uh, what, uh, Erifers, what we're culling, really putting some flesh on now, you know. I don't know what to do with them, I don't know what to put them through York Market or try and put them in to an abattoir, uh, to, straight to an abattoir such as Canopy or, uh, or ABP, I don't know. So, let's have a look at rat trap. Two load of pigs away, that's made us a bit of space because, by the way, we're getting a bit tight on ground. <coughs> nope. No. What about, we've got three this week, so whether we're going on top of them or whether they're going a bit wise to it, it wants moving back. Hey, come here dog. Hey, come on. Willow, come on. Just gets lost. It ends up investigating somewhere and gets bloody lost. Before I come to work, I've just seen uh, there's a shortage of food on supermarket shelves. And they're blaming weather conditions and one thing or another in Europe, in Africa, and in uh, well, even in this country, there's a shortage of leaks because of the weather, because of bad weather. We've had the best bloody February in uh, record. Uh, when are people going to realise that it's the people at the top taking too much money making food dear rather than the producers struggling to produce it? Well, the strugglers, the, the producers are struggling to produce it. 
at the price the the um, the the, um, the supermarkets and the uh, and the re uh, the retailers want to sell it at. you know I can't wait up I really can't I mean the news is a load of bollocks you watch it and just think Christ Almighty is there, have people believe in this you know I mean uh, uh, in Morocco and parts of Spain they've just said ah oh, bollocks to it. We, it we can't produce it uh, tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff like that for that price so we're, so we're going to leave our greenhouses empty you know um, food's dear but look I'd like to see the profits of uh, these big uh, uh, supermarkets and they're just milking jobs since Covid they've just milked job and banged all prices up and, uh, and let everybody uh, take the uh, take the hit and pay for it yeah what you see is for sale This is star buy. Got this, this Lemkin, whatever you pronounce that. Smargrad, nine. Yeah, bought that other day, yeah. It's a nice, very nice, genuine piece of kit. £3,000 if anybody wants it. 24 metre night sprayer. Um, oh, no hydraulic tilt, four seconds shut off. Nice thing. A grand. Oh, Becker, six row, beat drill, all complete, all turns, perfect, ready to go. Oh, how much? Oh, God. Uh, 450. Mark and mixer. Yeah, I think someone will buy that to do those cover crop seed. Uh, big cultivator, Ricky Topper. George Mort Topper. Go on, dog. <clears throat> cattle Crush, our old Cattle Crush for sale. That's Saul, Mr. Mr. Henry Stratton. Hello, Henry. <clears throat> Miller Mixer. Uh, Mill's good, Mixer's broken. Anybody wants it? Trying to clear up around this area, stack everything in a bit more order because it just got out of hand. And we just want all this lot and whatever we think scrap is scrap. Uh, but so, you know, if you see out, give us a shout because it's destined for uh, scrap. This, uh, this bucket here. I'm talking about the idea of making it into a garden fire for summer. You know, somehow put a flue on it, what looks like a digger boom, and put it in corner at garden and sit around it on a on a summer's night, talking rubbish. <coughs> right, I've got to see Phil's here, get some fothering up and get some jobs done. I have noticed that uh, we've put all our early, early um, nitrogen on. And everything's really greening up, especially wheat. Wheat's just took on a lot of colour. Our barley distance there, we've rolled that actually the other day, um, but that hasn't seemed to go out of it. Um, but the wheat is really a lovely shade of green and uh, seems to be, um, yeah, took out of, out of that first uh, hit of nitrogen. And uh, yeah, doing really good. Just want weather to settle down so I can get some roundup in done. So when we do decide to uh, to uh, go drilling, we can uh, we can just be at it. Like got all these panels finished off. They just post up for it. Yeah, quite pleased. Oh, we're only made of balls up with this wood. I don't know. If measure once, uh, measure twice, weld once. He's weld welded brackets on these pillars. But he must have got his measurements wrong because that was well pissed, isn't it? Can you see? It's about four inch up, but that's bloody sad. You good dog? <laughs> <laughs> 